Wetlands are primary sources of fresh water in a landscape through their ability to store water, recharge aquifers, buffer floods and droughts, and abate pollution. These ecosystems underpin water security in a region. Wetlands International South Asia works for the conservation and sustainable management of wetlands in South Asia. Together with partners Nidan, Gram Uttan and Arid Communities and Technologies, Wetlands International South Asia embarked on a five-year program, Watershed India. Central to this program was showcasing the role of wetlands conservation as a water source sustainability measure for improved governance and management of water and sanitation services. The program demonstrated these interlinkages in two wetland basins in Bihar and Orissa. Numerous wetlands locally known as Chor and Morn have traditionally secured the water needs of communities living in the Gangetic Plains of North Bihar. Shallow wetlands dot the coastal plains of Ganjam district, famous for the Ganjam Kevda. These wetlands create a freshwater barrier that prevents saltwater ingress. They also act as a buffer for storm surges and floods, which is common in coastal areas. Over the past decade, intensification of agriculture, urbanization and increased industrial activity has significantly jeopardized the wetland ecosystems. The once interconnected wetlands have been converted, blocked, disturbed and polluted. As wetlands are degraded, freshwater scarcity has become common and communities are exposed to the risks of droughts, floods and water salinization. The current crisis demands greater recognition and integration of the role of healthy wetland ecosystems in development planning. The 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act of 1992 grants the Gram Panchayats the power to plan and implement activities related to water management, watershed development and drinking water supply. Building the capacity of the village institutions is an important opportunity to promote wetland conservation at the grassroots level. Water scarcity constrained the delivery of wash services in the two landscapes. This provided the entry point for dialogue and for building consensus with communities to address these issues. The CSOs and communities were given orientation about groundwater recharge and flood buffering functions of wetlands their watersheds, geology and aquifers. Hydrological survey training was given to CSOs to help them understand river and wetlands interconnectivity, surface and groundwater usage, water quality and flows. The communities learned how the degradation of wetlands regimes increased the risk of salinization of coastal freshwater pockets and caused summer season water shortages in the plains. They decided to prioritize wetland conservation actions in their area. Together with Wetlands International South Asia and partners, the panchayats and CSOs followed up with the preparation of village water security plans in the two basins. Armed with information and plans, they engaged with government duty bearers to influence decisions and propose actions for natural resource management in the Gram Panchayat development plans. The activities were approved by the government departments. In the Tampara wetland basin, this resulted in the rejuvenation of multiple channels that allowed the Tampara wetland to regain its flows. Funds were secured from the Minor Irrigation Department, Public Sector Unit and Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme for the renovation of several water bodies that are hydrologically connected with the wetland. Water quality issues prompted the line departments to conduct water tests for the first time in years and sanction new piped water schemes. In Bihar, there is an increased collaboration amongst CSOs to demand regular training of panchayats on wetland conservation and water security issues. The officials have promised action based on demands. 
communities recognize and apply scientific principles to improve the planning of water conservation and drainage works carried out under government flagship programs. With the activation of the communities and local governments, the ingredients are in place to restore the flow of wetlands and safeguard the much-needed water security in the two wetland basins. Sustainable wash solutions require sustainable water sources. It is important to look beyond water supply pipes and taps to the ecosystems such as wetlands, which are the ultimate sources of fresh water. Conservation and sustainable management of wetlands is a critical path to the sustainability of WASH solutions. Our experiences in the Tampara and Deb Kal Chor wetland basins demonstrate community-led and community-owned pathways that make these connections feasible. We hope that these approaches will be replicated and adopted by practitioners and policymakers aiming at delivering sustainable wash solutions.